Well, it's Monday, and uh, we're getting ready to start off with a fresh week of PowerPoints. We're still in Psalm 71, and we're in verse 12 today where it says, Oh God, do not be far from me. Oh my God, make haste to help. Let them be confounded and consumed who are adversaries of my life. Let them be covered with reproach and dishonor who seek my hurt. Isn't it interesting how in these Psalms, how very transparent the psalmist is with God. And that's the point that I'm trying to make this month. That is, you and I come together. The scripture says we're two or three agree and praying, asking anything that the Lord will do it. So my question to you is this. Will you allow the Lord to deal with your adversaries? Because see, and I know we battle not against people, not against flesh and blood. But there are spiritual adversaries that are stopping you from your prosperity, stopping you from stealing your time, stopping you from answering the call in your life. And if you don't deal with it, it will never go away. See, in the Psalms, you see David and the other psalmist, they knew. They knew David knew he was called to be king. David knew that all of Israel was his responsibility, and he had a great burden for it. So he cried out to God. He didn't say, oh God, everything's great. Oh God, everything's fine. No, here's the psalmist here saying, Oh God, do not be far from me. Make haste and help me. And uh, we don't know who wrote this song, but it has a Davidic feel to it. And David, in Psalm 70 earlier, he says, Make haste, O God, and deliver me. Make haste to help me, Lord. And, and that's what I want to talk about this morning, is we need to besiege the Lord to help us now and deliver us from our adversaries. So let's, you and I, let's agree together. I'm agreeing with you. You'll get free, I'll get free, so that God's kingdom. We're the Israel of the Lord, amen? Let's let these enemies be stopped once and for all. Father, in the name of Yeshua, I come in agreement with my partners. And Father, we pray your word and say, our adversaries are after our life. Let them be covered up with reproach and dishonor, those who seek hurt. But Father, my hope is continually in you. God, don't be far. Don't hesitate to answer this prayer. It's Monday morning, and I need a good week. This week needs to be the best week I've ever had. Lord, go before me and bless me, I pray. In Yeshua's name, amen. God bless you, and I'll see you tomorrow.